All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we're going to get started here right away. I hope you guys can hear me nice and loud and clear. Uh, my voice tends to carry, so hopefully that's coming through for you guys. So thank you so much for joining us on this webinar here about the mammoth today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kyle. Uh, you should be seeing a presentation up there on the screen. Uh, I am our technical rep here for the Lock and Axe USA branch, so I take care of everything, all the technical questions for the USA and Canadian markets. If you want any more information uh, about any of our products, you're gonna need to brush up on your Dutch and contact one of the engineers in home office. So before we get rolling, uh, we do have a couple of quick housekeeping rules. So if you do have any questions, as I mentioned while we were waiting here, uh, please type those into the chat. We will be getting to those throughout the presentation. Some of them will be, uh, but we will follow up with all of them as needed. Uh, we will also send you a summary PDF at the end of the webinar. But while the webinar is going on, we're going to have a handful of polls popping up on the screen. When that does happen, uh, I will be pausing briefly so that you guys can have your chance to answer those. Your feedback is very important to us here, so please take the time to answer those polls. It definitely helps us to make these uh, better going forward and to help you guys get as much information out of these as possible. All right, so this is the agenda for this morning. We're going to go over a little bit of everything here. I'm going to give you a brief overview of uh, Lockanox itself, some of the typical issues that we see in the gates, talk a bit about the Mammoth and, and all the features and benefits therein. Uh, towards the end, we're going to specifically have a block of time to answer those questions you guys have been punching in throughout the presentation. And at the very end, I'm going to tie it all in together for you guys. All right? So first and foremost, what is Lockanox? Well, this is Lockanox, or rather specifically, this is an elementary school in Santa Clarita, California. As you can see there, that yellow indi line indicates the massive perimeter fence that's on this facility and tons of access control points. And that's frankly where we come in. Uh, we're gonna provide all the necessary hardware for those gates because after all, you need to maintain not only uh, security, but of course, safety. It's a school, it's important to keep everything nice and tight and have make sure that everyone who's supposed to be there is and anyone who's not isn't. That's very, very important this day and age because you'd never be able to monitor that entire fence line. So we got to keep that access control in there. So everything from simple residential applications on all the way through the most advanced of commercial applications that you see there, that's where we come in. How are we able to do this? Well, 30 plus years of experience in the industry and our three key features that are going to make us kind of the cream of the crop here is first and foremost, R&D. We have 25% of our staff in our home office is dedicated solely to research and development. And that means that they are either developing new products or enhancing the features and benefits of what we already have brought to the market. Next up, we have in-house manufacturing. This is so important. In this day and age where so many individuals are basically just going out and getting something and slapping their name on it, that's not the case for us. What we make, it's got our name on it because we put it together for you guys. Uh, and lastly, that innovation that is oh so important. And that innovation comes from the fact that we want to bring things out to the market that are going to revolutionize systems, that are going to bring you guys some new feature, some new benefit. It's not just rehashing the same old, same old. All right, so what goes into that development criteria? Well, first and foremost, it's got to be of industrial quality. We want to build everything to last. Uh, that trends towards the, the fact that everything's got to be weather resistant. Everything that we build is for exterior gate use. There is no interior hardware here at Lockanox. It's all gotta be outside, it's gotta take a beating. Uh, again, it's gotta be innovative. It has to be something new, it has to be something different. And this also goes in line with, it has to be ease of installation. We want you guys to be able to put it in straightforward and simply every single time with no welding or milling or grinding, none of that aspect. And then in the long run, that it's going to be simple where anyone from John Q Public can go out there and adjust the speed settings and the force on the closers and things of that nature. And last, and one of my personal favorites, we're a European company, so of course, it has to be elegant design. It's got to do all that and look good doing it. So what is Lockanox? Well, we're a manufacturer of quality gate and fence hardware. And what that means is that it's got our name on it because we put it, you know, we put it together, we made it for you guys, and it's strictly that exterior hardware. It has to be outside, has to take a beating. All right, so what are some of the typical recurring gate closer issues that you see out in the market? What can you expect to find in this day and age? First and foremost, oftentimes you'll see oil leakages. Um, like you see on the screen here, 
uh, where seals have failed or you know the gate has been overloaded or the closer has been asked to do too much, simply the seals have failed and it has now leaked and possibly ruined something. Next up, uh, a common occurrence is very weak attachment. Uh, simply by using you know, self-tapping screws or some simple nuts and bolts, it's never gonna hold up over time like you see here on this example uh, where again, they've had to reinstall the hardware over and over again in order to hold up the gate. Uh, another common occurrence that we are constantly referred to, you will see two videos that are gonna play here momentarily for you. Now, for your consideration, we have muted these uh, because uh, unfortunately you can tell that that gate is extremely loud as it bounces back off of the latch right there. And another common occurrence that you can see is gates closing with simply far too much force, very uncontrolled. Uh, as this gate with this panic bar swings back here, I definitely would not want to find any part of me in between that gate and that post when that gate slams closed. Another common occurrence is gates that simply will no longer close because they've been open past the point of 90 degrees. Many closers are simply limited to a 90 degree open to close function is another common occurrence. And finally, entry level quality products, simply things that are never meant to last to the rigors of extended use over time. And you can see things like rust and oxidation have formed in this here example where this hardware has failed. All right, so there should be a poll popping up on your screen. Take a quick moment to answer that, ladies and gentlemen, before we carry on here. It gives me a nice excuse to grab a quick bit of water. Again, please take that time, you know, answer those polls. It is very important to us. Please click your responses in there. Your feedback is extremely important to us so that we can make these webinars better and as informative as possible for you. All right, so again, thank you so much for your feedback. Moving right along, what is the mammoth? Well, specifically the mammoth, it's a gate closer and a hinge all in one. This is providing your spring action. And of course it has our patented hydraulic dampening. And as you can see, now I'm 6'2", 260, and this is clearly no joke. This is substantial hardware. This is gonna take care of everything that you need. Now also on your screen there, you'll notice that it does come with the dummy hinge, the dyno, which is a double bearing support hinge that's gonna work with it in tandem. All right, but so all of this is gonna get you your ADA compliance, meaning that you're only gonna need three to five pounds of force to open and close that gate uh, on any gate that's up to five feet wide and up to 330 pounds. Again, 330 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's no joke. That is the most substantial of gates. But just in case your applications trend a little smaller than that, again, just for reference here, as you can even see it on the screen, we do have the Mammoth for those exceptionally large gates, but we also have the Tiger. Now the Tiger is the lighter duty model, so Mammoth, five foot wide, 330 pounds. Tiger is for gates that are up to 165, basically half the weight and four feet wide. Once again, Mammoth, heavy duty. Tiger is the light duty or the little brother of the Mammoth. But why would you wanna use the Mammoth? Well, you might even ask yourself, why use a gate closer even at all? Uh, well, say you've got, uh, a typical application, something like you might see here at this particular university where you have, again, one of those access points uh, or think back to our earlier example of that elementary school in Santa Clarita. You have a large perimeter line, you have a ton of access points and you need to maintain security. So you have invested a large amount of money into a security system, monitoring devices, the best locks in the world, and you've had all of it. But if there's no closer on the gate, how certain are you that those little kids or if this is an industrial facility that your employees or your visitors have closed the gate behind them. Because if they haven't done that, then all of those security features go right out the window if the gate is left hanging open. All of those features are for nothing. So the gate closer is what's going to ensure the gate closes behind them and all of those security features get to do their job to make sure that the gate is safe and secure. So increasingly, of course, the answer to do I need a closer is yes to ensure that that level of security and safety for those that are inside and outside your facility. 
But again, why would you want to use now the mammoth in specific? So some of the key features and benefits, first and foremost, is the hydraulic, hydraulic dampening mechanism that's built into it. This is going to give you a nice smooth open to close action in all situations. We've even got a video playing here for you guys. We left this gate out for a couple of days outside during that absolutely brutal winter snap we had here in Chicago. And as you can see, we still came back out to it after a couple of days, opened it all the way up, closes nice and smooth. So again, even in the most bitter of winter conditions, it's still gonna do its job every single time. The, the temperature range also trends though, so that even those of you that are down in Southern California and think, ah, what do I never need to worry about that? Well, it also extends the temperature range out to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So even when it's, it's hot, it's still gonna function. But this also allows you to dial in specifically the exact speed that you want the closer to function at. So if you want it to close nice and slow because you have a lot of children uh, or the disabled coming in and out of your particular facility, you can set that nice and slow. Or conversely, if it's a more secure facility, it's a transformer station or something along those lines, you can speed it up and have it move a little quicker to make sure that it's always closing promptly behind any employees that are coming in. But you can specifically dial that in to whatever you're looking for. Whether you've got a heavy duty mechanical code lock, you can ensure that you've got the final snap on it so that it's gonna latch into place. Or if you've got a mag lock like here behind me and you want it to be a very soft close, you can also ensure that as well. Next important function is the rotary seal. And what this basically means is the spring is not going down into the hydraulic fluid, ensuring that there's no leaking or there's no any issues where the oil is being pulled back up out of that reservoir. Uh, ensuring that the product's gonna hold up for time and time and always function at the speed that you've set it at. Next up is that oh so important high performance spring. Uh, much larger than you see in the rest of the industry, that is one of the reasons why the Mammoth is so substantial. It's going to ensure that uh, it holds up over time and basically performs exactly as intended, giving you that ADA compliance and that long-term durability to hold up for years and years on the gate. Uh, next up is an important aspect of this, though, is that also is what allows us to have a 180 degree open to close feature. So as you can see, I can bring this gate all the way back to the fence line, let it go. It's going to close nice and smooth. And now again, we have set the final snap on this one to be a little bit higher. So you can see on the chain link gate that even as it gets close to the close, it releases a little bit of the dampening and closes and locks that gate securely every single time. But this also means that now you can open the gate again, since it'll go all the way 180 degrees, you can take full advantage of that opening of the gate frame. Uh, you do not need to install a gate stop whatsoever to pin the closer to a simple 90 degrees. Another important aspect of it is our high quality housing. It is an aluminum housing that is powder coated and it is designed to withstand the most brutal of weather conditions and hold up for years and years. Uh, again, specifically temperature ranges from negative 22 Fahrenheit all the way up to 165 degrees. Uh, and it's also designed to handle a thousand hour salt spray test, which effectively means you could have it on a beachfront property for 10 to 20 years and it's going to hold up. Next important feature is our secure tamper proof and easy installation. And with those security covers in place, you'll note that you pin them in place from the back end once they're installed, ensuring that none of the hardware is accessible from the outside, meaning that no one can tamper with your mammoth once you've got it into place. The ease of installation is offered by our patented quick fixes. Now, once installed, these hold with 2,000 pounds of hold force. That's right, one ton. So you drill your eight holes, you bolt it into place, and you move on to your next project thanks to those quick fixes, ensuring the knowledge that it's going to hold that gate up. It's as simple as you apply the templates, you tap your center points, and you drill those eight holes. That's right, eight 15 millimeter holes, and then everything tightens up and you're good to go. Ease of installation with absolutely no welding whatsoever on even the heaviest of gates. Now, uh, I'm not going to blow smoke on you guys or anything like that or lie or puff this up. It is an easy installation. But what you will find is that if you decide to uh, treat it like your last IKEA furniture project and you dive right into it and you didn't read the instructions and you didn't follow along with anything uh, or you didn't check out our video on our website, well, you might end up with something like this. And frankly, guys, let's all admit it. We've all been there. We've had that caveman moment where we thought, I can do this. No. 
please read the instructions, follow along with the install video on the website, and you'll find that it is extremely simple. And once you get the hang of it, we consistently find that crews are able to install the Mammoth in 20 minutes or less, which means you've now hung your gate, and with your gate closer, everything is square and level and it's good to go in 20 minutes flat. So the final thing that all of these features lead to is, is that the Mammoth is maintenance free. And what I mean by that is there's no greasing of any fittings, no applying oil over and over again to ensure that the gate is swinging correctly, uh, no going back out to reapply tension over and over again to anything like that. It's literally install it and forget it, save your energy, move on to your next project, guys. So a little insight into what you can expect if any of you ever make the trek out to our home office in Belgium, as you can see there on that slide. Those are all the testing machines that rigorously perform all of our in-house testing, ensuring you that we can give you that three-year warranty because we've got our name on it. We want you to hang your name on those gates with pride and know that that's gonna hold up for years and years. We do have another poll popping up for you here, guys. I'm gonna give you another quick minute. Feedback is oh so important to us. Again, please take a moment, answer that poll on the screen. We do appreciate your input. It helps us to make these better for future webinars. And also so that, you know, Nick will keep feeding me. All right, so what are some of the typical applications that you might see for the Mammoth? Well, it might range something like this. These are actual installs from our own customers, things that you can expect out in the field will look like this in front of universities or schools, uh, even out in front of very nice pool situations. Other applications trend toward the industrial or commercial sites uh, that need to maintain that security or even very large amusement parks and again, pools where access control is so important. These are the type of results that you can expect for yourselves with the Mammoth. But another key feature, as you've already seen it behind me here, it's now available for Chainlink. So by the adding in our Chainlink brackets, we showed this gate off and these new brand new brackets at FenceTech. This is so important because this now gives you, just like on Square, you now have it for a round application, a bolt-on solution, hinge and closer all in one, no welding, no milling, no grinding, no nothing, nice and easy install, even on round. So in summary, what do we got here? Well, you've got an ADA closer, meaning three to five pounds of force is gonna open up that gate. So in any situation, anyone can use it, young or old, strong or infirm, you're good to go. 500,000 movements is what they're tested to. That's right, a half million movements on the gate. So even in high traffic areas, it's gonna hold up over time. Three year warranty, we stand behind our products, ladies and gentlemen. And again, 330 pounds is what it's rated to. So even for your absolutely largest of pedestrian gates, it's gonna handle that no problem. And finally, any gate up to five feet wide. Again, we have another quick poll here for you guys. We're gonna give you another 15 or 20 seconds, quickly answer that. Again, we do appreciate it. Please take a moment there and give us your feedback. It is important to us. All right, again, thank you ladies and gentlemen for answering these polls. It does mean a lot to us so that we can make these better for you in the future. So uh, I did take a moment here, looked at a couple of the questions that we got and some of the ones that we've seen. Uh, Nick's holding them up for me here. So it looks like, uh, oh, first and foremost, uh, what is the recommended hinge gap for the Mammoth? Well, uh, frankly, uh, we recommend on a square tube, the gap range is from uh, 15 mil to 30 mil is what you'll see on the video. Or, you know, for those of us uh, moon landing unit users, that would be from 5 eighths to 1 and 3 eighths. So we recommend a one inch gap. 
On the round application, it's one and three sixteenths to two and one sixteenths. Um, another quick question I see, what's MSRP on the Mammoth? Uh, MSRP uh, we, is uh, 458. Uh, however, please contact your local distributors. They will be able to tell you what your price is for yourselves. Uh, if you do not have a distributor in your area or you're not familiar with who's selling it, uh, please email us at the end of this and we'll be able to get you in contact with whoever the nearest Lock and Ox distributor is in your area. Um, another question that we saw uh, is uh, what colors is it available in? I will answer that shortly here. We do have a response for that as well. Nick, do we have any other questions? Okay, looks like we're good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't wanna take all your time today, guys. We do appreciate it. All right, so looks like we jumped ahead there a little bit. All right, so in summation, basically what the Mammoth's gonna give you is total peace of mind. You can be insured, you install it, completely forget about it, it's good to go. You can save your energy, move on to your next project. On any gate, that's up to 330 pounds, and even if it's a round or a square application. So chain link, ornamental, whatever it is, aluminum, steel, you're good to go, guys. Um, I do wanna answer that, uh, going back to it, uh, I think we've got it in here. There it is. So for those that were curious as to what colors is it available in, well, for those that know me, they'll know I'm a bit of a car guy myself. So as Henry Ford used to like to say to people that they can have it any color they want, as long as they want it in black. Now here at Lock and Ox, again, like I said, we stress our innovation. We are a little bit more generous than that. So you can have it in any color they want, as long as they want black or silver. That's what we got for you guys. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, talking about our self-closing hinges, we have the Mammoth. And again, it's baby brother, the tiger here. So for those kind of applications, you're good to go. But I don't want you guys who are in the access control security consultants or locksmiths to think that we're not taking care of you guys as well. We have a ton of retrofit options for you guys who are consistently working on gates that are already installed and out in the field. So we can take care of those needs to go right in along with our long line of hardware that also extends to locks and access control, anything that you would need from drop rods to hinges for any kind of gate. Everything, it's all available. You can even see some of it on the gates here behind me. More information is available for you guys. Please check out our brochures. They're available for download on our website. Uh, this also contains all of our install videos. These are so, so important. Uh, I am definitely a member of the YouTube generation. It is so much easier to follow along with a two minute video. We'll walk you right through the entire process of installation start to finish. Uh, we do have a ton of references on there from real life installs from customers just like yourselves. And finally, please follow us on social media that you can see up there on the screen. So lastly, to wrap it all up guys, uh, if you do have any lingering questions that we didn't get to in the presentation, please email them to us at salesusa at lockandox.com as you see it there on the screen. And you can also reach out to us at any time. Please write this number down, 877-LOCKANOX. That is how you can get a hold of us here. Again, write that number down, folks, 877-L-O-C-I-N-O-X. Again, my name is Kyle. I am your technical support here. I'm sure many of you will be talking to me or already have. Thank you so much for joining us today. We do appreciate it. And we hope to be talking to all of you guys soon. Thank you.